everybody. I'm very happy to welcome you here uh, in Greece. And uh, thank you for joining us for the test drive of this all new duster that is more duster than ever. So this car, this is a car that has been uh, totally reinvent reinvented while staying true to the original duster. But before going more into details uh, about this car, we will, st we will start with a short overview of the brand and the market. So to start, uh, a short reminder about the countries uh, that Shia uh, sold, uh, is selling, uh, is sold in 44 countries, mainly in Europe and around the Mediterranean, Mediterranean Sea. Sorry. Uh, since 2004, uh, the uh, total volume of sales is almost about 5 million cars. At the end of October, the exact figure was 4.8 million. If we look at the duster, the Dacia duster, uh, it is, uh, we have now sold more than 1 million. And if you count the Dacia plus the Renault duster, we have sold uh, more now than 2 million duster. Year by year, you, you can see here the increase uh, of sales, and it's uh, an exceptional growth beating record after record. At end of uh, October 2017, uh, we have sold 535,000 units. No fewer than 23 countries out of 44 have set records for sales or market shares. And uh, you can also note that Sandero is the best selling car to retail customers. So a great success of the Sandero almost anywhere. <coughs> and if we talk about the brand and the Dacia brand, uh, we have to talk about also uh, his community. Uh, the Dacia owners are more and more enthusiastic and have a strong attachment to the brand. We, we have events, more and more events with our customers, and especially this year in Romania, uh, where we have the first, the first Dacia picnic. But the community of Dacia is also very strong and very large on the social networks. And we have on Facebook more than 4 million fans. Meeting, meet, uh, it means that we have almost uh, as many fans on Facebook than uh, customers. Now, uh, let's have a look to the segment and the market of uh, the, the duster. And the duster's market segment is the CSUV segment. If we look the volume of sales since 2010, global volume of sales the, of the CSUV segment, we can see that uh, the increase uh, was uh, the volume increased by 2.5. And the stir is uh, on this market uh, position uh, at the third position of uh, the retail CSUV segment. For the competition, uh, the competition is a it's a tricky question for you uh, and for us because if you look at the price, you will uh, have competitors that are more based on the BSUV segment. If you look at dimensions and cabin space it is positioned more in front of C uh, SUV competitors. So it will up to you to decide who our rivals are. Let's now focus on this whole new duster and get more into details. So first, about the design. When a uh, team uh, had to think about the new duster, it was quite a challenge because actually duster was already a success. And this design uh, was uh, really, uh, uh, um, uh, customers really liked this design, so it was a big challenge to renew uh, this car that was becoming an iconic car. So here you can see the evolution uh, between the previous duster and the new one. As you can see, at first sight, you recognize a duster, but everything has changed. 100% of the exterior design is new. Um, you can see that the headlights, the 
front headlights have been put at the extreme corner uh, of the car. The ski, the front ski that is mass colored, uh, is now bigger and reinforces uh, the robustness uh, of this design. And we also have a bonnet with more structured line. If we look now at the side, the back line is now higher and the bonnet, so the bonnet is now more horizontal. The windscreen base has been brought forward by 100 millimeters. The wheel arches are still very large and can house now 17 inches wheels. The side features more sculptured horizontal lines to make the car look longer. If we look at the rear styling, the car's, line, the car's lines have become more horizontal while before it was more vertical. We have impressive new lighting signature that you can see here using the four squares that we discovered on the new Sandero last year. And we also have still this mass colored wear squid ski that is as uh, in the front, the front one, bigger and uh, reinforces the robustness of the car. So you can see here the whole animation uh, where, where you really uh, uh, understand how this design is still recognizable from the previous poster but actually completely new. Here uh, we can discover more in detail the front, uh, the front headlight signature with LED daytime running lights. Uh, we have guide lights which is brand new uh, in the, the Dacia brand and the upper section of the front headlights now features the duster name that is very uh, qualitative details in uh, these headlights. The wheel arch trim, the black part that you can see here, really highlights the car's adventurous, uh, adventurous credentials. This is also to help to protect the wheel arches from any dirt or uh, stone projection. And also, the brand new aluminium roof bars that uh, really extend the line of the, wind, the windscreen to achieve an even more polished design. In terms of body colors, we have two brand new body colors that are uh, on the cars that we've tested today, the orange Atacama and the beige tune that are completing the uh, previous range of colors. So in a word, the brand new exterior styling reinforces the star adventurer credential while exuding a more assertive and refined feel. So let's now take a look at the interior design that is also brand new, uh, a brand new design. So inside the car, this, uh, this was also a challenge, but actually the design team really start from scratch, from a blank page, and uh, really um, had the opportunity to integrate the request of our customers in terms of quality, equipment, and design. So here you can see this new uh, dashboard that is uh, generously proportioned, imposing, and status enhancing. Um, the driving position is extra user-friendly, I would say, because you have this A-shape of the dashboard. This A-shape allows um, the, wind, the, the navigation screen to be higher than, pre than previously. And uh, actually, it is turned uh, to, the drive, to the driver, so it means it is um, more easy to read it and also more practical to use. The windscreen has been moved forward by 10 cm, as we said, to make the cabin look more spacious. As a result, the dashboard is now even more imposing. A special, our special focus on quality of materials selected also applied to the dashboard. 
which now features a more refined grain and a matte finish. If we have a look uh, to the steering wheel, uh, this new steering wheel is now common to the whole Dutch range. It is more modern, user-friendly, and also comfortable in terms of materials and also ergonomics. What is new on this uh, steering wheel is that uh, before we already have uh, an adjustment in 8 through 40 millimeters, but now we also have a new adjust adjustment in depth through 50 millimeters. Here a new focus where we improved perceived quality with the climate control and the piano key type controls. Also an example of the improved quality with the new gear lever in the center of this new console. New seats as well, and we'll go more into details about the whole new seats and work that has been done on uh, this part. And also, brand new design, brand new quality on the door panels with more sculpted lines and more assertive lines, chrome inserts uh, and door release, and padded, and padded armrest. After this focus on the interior design, now let's talk about the roominess. So as I've said, we have a brand new design. Brand new design doesn't mean that roominess has changed. And dimensions, exterior dimensions, are clearly the same uh, than the previous cluster. The storage capacity has been increased to 27.2 liters, meaning 20% more than the previous version. Set, uh, storage space in the set, center console has been redesigned and we have new storage areas in the rear doors. There is also a new storage under the seat of the front passenger. This is a clever 2.8 liter storage tray. It is located so beneath the passenger seats and it is easy to reach and can be used to safely store away items like, for example, tablets of the children. You can see here the boot capacity, uh, the maximum boot capacity in normal position, and the total maximum capacity. The uh, first uh, figure in white is in two-wheel drive version, the second is in four-wheel drive version. Let's now talk about comfort, which is a very big part of this new duster, because it, it was a key item uh, for developing the new duster. And first, as I've said, we have completely new redesigned seats. It means that we have new frame that includes new adjustment settings and a seat cushion that is now 20 millimeters longer. It means that we have improved improved the leg support. We also have new foam used that are denser. denser. Uh, it means that we have added durability and comfort. It also allows to redesign the shape of uh, the seats that are more enveloping and provides enhanced support, especially uh, while driving and common. And we have also four new upholstery combinations uh, including one leather upholstery. Uh, As you can see here, uh, we have a new eight adjustment uh, system on the side of, uh, of the seat, very uh, easy to access and practical for everyday, uh, everyday uh, driving. And uh, this system uh, travels through 60 millimeters, which is 20 millimeters more than the previous version. You can see here the new uh, armrest that is, that is now integrated to the seat and also the lumbar, uh, the new lumbar adjustment. After this first part uh, on the seat, uh, another big part about the comfort is the soundproofing. Actually, the work that has been done about the soundproofing helps to reduce the noise inside by two. 
the sound, the noise inside the car was divided by two. How uh, did we do this? We increased the percentage of sound absorbing surfaces in the cabin and the engine compartment by 20 to 50 percent. We also uh, reduced noise thanks to improved sealants and plugs. We also used uh, glass that are thicker in the front doors, glass that are thicker by uh, 0.35 millimeters. And we are using also a more rigid <coughs> front end uh, to, lower, uh, to lower, lower the engine and road noises and also to have fewer vibrations into the cabin space. In terms of sound, uh, the car is now fitted with larger diameter uh, speakers uh, up to 165 millimeters. Uh, they, uh, we improved also uh, the way they are fixed into the doors and uh, in the higher uh, ver versions we have now two tweeters located at the top of the dashboard. It means that everything that we've done on this part uh, can uh, now provide a better sound experience inside the car. Then, after the seats, the soundproofing, also uh, all the new equipment that we have on this duster, starting with the new automatic climate control. It was a big request of our customers, and this is the first time we have this system on the Dacia, uh, on the Dacia model. Also, the keyless entry is now available. This is a very uh, well-known technology throughout the group for more than 10 years. The Dacia system is particularly simple. It opens the door as soon as you get close to the car. You don't have to use uh, the car that is in your bag or in the pocket. And also, by using the start-stop button, you directly start, start or stop the engine. Uh, a new system as well is the multi-view camera. Uh, this system is also very simple to use. Uh, it is, uh, we, actually you have four different cameras, one at the front, one at the rear, and one in each side mirror. As soon as uh, you put the reverse gear, it is engaged, the rear camera is activating automatically. When you put the forward gear in uh, parking in your parking, uh, automatically the front uh, camera is also activated. And then when you are almost parked, you can select on your own the side camera to check where uh, you are parked exactly. We will see after that this system is also very useful in off-road conditions. Now, a short focus on the new electric power steering. It is another major new feature on the stir and completely, uh, completely change uh, the uh, behavior of this new duster. So this new electric power steering is reducing the effort required to turn the wheel by 35%, which is particularly useful when you're maneuvering at low speed or parking your car, as we've seen before. The steering ratio is now 6% lower, delivering a quicker steering response and improved maneuverability in cities and at higher speeds on twisted roads. The steering includes a system which adapts uh, depending on the speed of the car for greater directional stability on the motorways. And it also considerably improves steering response, especially when driving off road. Another new equipment, brand new in the Dacia range, is the automatic headlight activation that is useful on a daily life and also, uh, also improves comfort and safety. So let's now talk more about the safety on the Dacia. So first, in terms of active safety, uh, Duster has all uh, the safety features, including also cross control and a speed limiter, and also as we've seen, uh, as we've seen before, automatic headlights activation. 
but it also has now the blind spot warning. Uh, that is a new system to Dacia, but well known, quite well known in the industry, and it helps, of course, to detect vehicles' position in the driver's blind spot. In terms of passive safety, uh, we worked on the structure of the vehicle. You can see here in yellow all the new uh, all the new parts, and uh, this helps to improve pedestrian impact. Uh, in the energy absorption. In terms of airbags, uh, we now have two uh, additional airbags, which are the curtain uh, airbags. The seatbelts now feature pretensioners with load limiters for the front, as previous, and also the rear side seats. We also have now uh, an alert uh, for the rear uh, side, uh, for the rear seat belts uh, to check the driver can check very easily from the dashboard if the seat belts are fastened and if during uh, while the while the car is uh, being driven, if the seat belts are unfastened, the driver will have an alert. <coughs> About the headrest. They are larger and thicker at the front, they were redesigned, and also uh, the rear side headrest have been redesigned to enhance occupant safety uh, in the event of an impact, and also their new shape will improve the visibility uh, that you have uh, on the rear, uh, from the rear of the car. You can note also that the door mirrors are now larger to contribute to improve driver visibility. A short overview, uh, sh sh very short uh, overview of the accessories. Mm -hmm. I cannot present you the whole range of accessories, but it's a, uh, a key part of, uh, um, of this launch because actually when uh, a customer buys a Dacia at a very affordable price, it is, he is very, quite happy actually to add some, uh, a few accessories uh, to his car. So we have a whole range available and tomorrow at the 4x4 workshop you will have one duster that is equipped with some of these accessories. So we have uh, a list of styling accessories uh, like the styling bar. We also have a new side step that is fully integrated into the car and that also uh, provide an easier access to the roof. We have a new tow bar that actually is quite, sorry, is quite easy to use because you can fix it in a very few seconds with no tools. And we also have the EasyFlex modular boot liner uh, that is anti-slip and waterproof for optimum boot protection. The, so this whole range is available and uh, uh, what was important when developing this range of accessories is to provide them at a very accessible price. Let's have a focus on the off-road capabilities. As I've said uh, at the beginning, we kept the best from the previous duster and we improved the rest. And actually, the best from the previous duster was its off-road capabilities. So, in terms of dimensions, we kept very short overhang uh, to, uh, to, to allow very good capabilities in off-road conditions. And we have angles, approach and departure angles, that are very close from the previous model. We have this uh, four-wheel drive rotary control that is now positioned uh, in the cent at the center console. You will see it tomorrow. And we, if we kept the best from the previous duster in the off-road capabilities, we also wanted to improve the experience in off-road. That's why we added to this a 4x4 monitor that you can see here, and you will test it tomorrow to see how it's placed your car and the, 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 the inclination of, uh, of your car. And also here we can see the multi-view that is quite useful in this type of driving. You can see the obstacles and place your car. And very useful, as we will see, when you go up a hill and when you are in this situation, the driver can see 
only the sky, while the camera, the front camera, can show him uh, what there is behind the hill so that he can engage safely. And then, still for the off-road driving, you now have the you now have the hill descent control so that the driver only has to take care about the uh, steering wheel uh, and not the pedals or, uh, or the lever, the gear lever. Let's talk about the engines available on this new duster. So the old new duster has carried over the same engines ranging from diesel units is here it is, the same engines with the DCI 90 and the DCI 110. They are uh, available uh, with manual transmission and the EDC, the automatic transmission, is also available on the DCI 110. We also have the possibility to have the four-wheel drive version uh, with the manual gearbox on the DCI 110. For the petrol engines, still the main range as well, with the SCE 115, available in two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive, and for the TCE 125, still in manual transmission, uh, and also available in two- or four-wheel drive. And Dacia is also a, um, a brand uh, that uh, pro uh, proposes his full range available in LPG. Uh, this is a, a reliable solution uh, and also affordable solution uh, with a, a price of the energy that is, uh, very, uh, that is very low and then also an eco-friendly solution. In terms of manufacturing, so Duster, uh, uh, we have done tests on Duster uh, both in Romania and also uh, in France to ensure uh, his reliability and robustness so it leads uh, to this warranty uh, because the only duster still comes with this three-year uh, warranty. In terms of production, uh, Dacia duster is, of course, produced uh, in Romania and still uh, the only uh, plant to produce the Dacia, uh, the Dacia duster. So, uh, in brief, the only duster has all the ingredients to produce another chapter in the Duster success story. Now it boasts a brand new interior and exterior design, enhanced with comfort and quality, and also uh, lots of new equipment. And of course, uh, this new Duster is still shockingly affordable, as I would say, and I will let Andrei Stratou present you uh, the price list în cele ce urmează, aș dori să vă în atenție câteva elemente legate de contextul în care are loc lansarea acestui nou model în România. Noul Duster pe ștafeta de la un model care a devenit în adevărat simbol al succesului Dacia. Ați văzut ceva mai devreme statisticile internaționale. În România, încât de la lansarea sa, în 2010, Duster a devenit un adevărat lider al segmentului din care face parte. În decurs de 8 ani s-au vândut aproape 50.000 de unități, uh, unități de Duster în România. Ceea ce este demn de remarcat este faptul că Duster și-a menținut nivelul constant al vânzărilor de-a lungul întregii sale cariere comerciale. În mod normal, în ciclul de viață al unui automobil, cea de-a doua parte a carierei este marcată de o erodare a vânzărilor, fapt care nu s-a manifestat în cazul Duster. Pentru motivele care explică această constanță în timp a performanței comerciale, se numără animările frecvente ale gamei, materializate la serile de serie limitate precum Duster Connected by Orange sau Duster pe Touch, cele din urmă Duster Explorer. Vânzările Duster în, în România au fost marcate totodată de o apetență a clienților pentru nivelurile de echipare cu un grad mai ridicat. Pe lângă a 
apetitul clienților noștri pentru motorizările diesel, dar și tracțiunea 4x4, observăm, observăm cum au optat pentru nivelurile de echipare superioare ale, ale gamei. În, în 2017, astfel am ajuns ca 98% din, din vânzările modelului Duster să fie reprezentate de niveluri de echipare superioare. Sunt încă, sunt încă convins că așteptați cu nerăbdare care sunt cum este formată gama din România. Iată cum, este, cum se prezintă aceasta. Avem trei niveluri de echipare de la lansare, essential, confort și prestige. Încă, încă de la nivelul de echipare essential, echipamentele standard sunt senzorul de lumină, semnătura lunoasă de tip LED, elemente de siguranță precum Hill Start Assist, SC, ABS și Hill de Sancator pentru versiunile 4x4, de asemenea sistemul Stop and Start, servul de elecție asistată de electric, precum și indicatorul de viteză. În ceea ce privește opționalele disponibile pentru această versiune, sunt proiectoarele ceață, dar și sistemul de aer condiționat manual. Versiunea confort bine în plus față de Essential cu următoarele echipamente, echipamente standard, precum aer condiționat manual, proiectoarele ceață, oglinzele electrice și încălzite, geamuri electrice spate, un pachet modularitate pentru pacheta de spate care se rabatează 1 pe 3, 2 pe 3, dar și un pachet confort pentru interior. Volanul este reglat pe înălțime și adâncime, după cum ați făcut vedea. Scaunul șoferului se reglează longitudinal pe înălțime și lombar, avem o cotieră centrală, față. De asemenea, avem un spațiu pentru depozitarea bagajelor sub scaunul pasagerului. Ca și opțional, aș menționa asistența video la placarea cu spatele sistemul de navigație media nav, scaune încălzite, volan și schimbător îmbrăcate în piele, dar și un pachet duc exterior. De asemenea, o noutate pentru marca Dacia este carul de acces mâine, mâine libere. Versiunea Prestige vine în plus față de confort cu jante de aleaj de 17 inch, Maldive, un pachet duc exterior, sistem de navigație Medianav Evolution, asistența video la parcarea cu spatele care include și senzorii acustici, scaun în față încălzite. Printre opționale aș menționa sistemul de avertizare pentru unghiul mort, camera multiview, dar și cardul de acces minimă. Versiunea de echipare confort și prestige de asemenea, pot beneficia de tabițărie din piele. Prețul pentru noul Duster disponibil în România pleacă de la 12.350 de euro pentru versiunea echipare Essential cu motorizare 1.6 litri benzină SCL 115 cai cu tracțiune în față și ajunge la 18.450 de euro pentru versiunea Prestige echipată cu un motor 1.5 litri diesel, 110 cai putere și tracțiune integrală. De asemenea, de încă de la lansare este disponibilă cutia de viteze cu dublă ambreaj de C, care pleacă de la 16.800 de euro pentru o versiune a confort și ajunge la 18.450 de euro pentru o versiune a